I saw this set of three mini composition notebooks the other day while I was out, and I picked up two sets. I thought they would make a great addition to the altered composition notebook playlist that I have going on here on my channel. They also are great for junk journal ephemera. They're a quick do-it-yourself gift, and they also, if you're like me, are great to have in your purse to write that idea down that you will forget if you don't put it on paper. My name is Peg, and of course, my channel is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will come along and join me as I create journals. I have really enjoyed doing this altered composition notebook playlist. I'm playing with some encaustic wax, learning that, and there's just a lot more over on my channel from ATCs to altered playing cards. If you like that type of content, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell will let you know when I upload additional things. So here's that set of three. The first set that I pulled out, the book fell apart when I opened it up. So first thing to do is some mend work to get this held together. So I've stuck a ribbon of glitter glue right down that spine. I'm going to pull out my baby wipe and wipe off any excess glue and then I'll set th these three aside for them to heal and I will work with them a little bit later. But I thought I would go ahead and, and leave this in because it was something I certainly didn't expect. I didn't expect it to fall apart when I opened it up, but a bead of glitter glue fixed everything I think you could use any type of glue you have on hand, it just needs to be re, the adhesive needs to be freshened up a little bit, perhaps on some of these sets. And of course, I'm going back and wiping off the edge of the pages just to make sure I'm not gluing them together. I want to use these as kind of a scrap buster sort of thing. So I've pulled out jelly prints that I made and didn't use in a previous project. I'm also going to try to utilize some of the prints that I have utilized but have left a good piece or a good size of them. And these are all on rice paper, these last. The others are on copy weight paper going to use the rice paper first and I just want to run the cutter down an edge to give me a straight edge. Just trying to get it uh, oversized to the dimension of the book in both height and width so I can wrap the front cover. And there we go. I used my ruler to take some measurements, and now I have that measurement for the size of paper that I want to cut for each front and back on each of the six that I'm going to be doing. So let's just straighten that up just a little bit more or get rid of a little bit more of that excess. And now I have it right about the size that I think is going to work and not leave a lot of excess on the inside. I had some fabric fusion glue laying on my, or sitting on my table, so I thought, we'll use that. And I put a bead of that down and spread it out nice and thin with one of the hotel key cards from my recent trip. I've been traveling this past week for work and always with travel comes a great new set of hotel key cards to use in my shop. I want to trim off these corners to remove some of that excess. And we'll place some glue on the inside and now I've picked up my glitter glue. so. I, as I said in the very beginning, I don't think it matters what type of glue you utilize. Use what you have on hand. We're just trying to get rid of some of the scraps that we have in our shop. And if you're like me, you have an abundance of gel press prints that you have in either a box or a container. 
that you just can't bear to toss in the waste can, but, um, you know, always are looking for something to utilize them for. So I thought this would be a great little project for that. So now we have the front adhered, and I'll do the same thing on the back as well. Just want to make sure everything is adhered well. I don't want anything that is going to be um, loose, I guess is the best term to use. And now to measure for the end sheets. And I want to take it pretty close to the end because I don't want to leave a lot of white showing. So I want to get it, I, I'm going to go the exact same size as the inside front cover. So I'm going to measure that and cut my piece of paper to the exact size. So we have the front and back covered. I've cut this sheet to the exact size and I have the one quarter inch corner cut that I'm going to do on two of the corners along the height. So it comes, the rounded corner lines up with the rounded corner <clears throat> of the composition book. And see how I put that clear up to the edge of the paper? I want it to have just a sliver there to not impede it in the fold. I'm just wiping to make sure there's no excess glue. And now we'll do that on the back as well. Bottom, top, rounded corner. And let's run that bead of glue right along the edge of that paper. And adhere that into place. And of course, I used too heavy of a hand with my, this is rice paper on this one, and I, and I think any paper has the potential to rip. So that little corner that I cut off earlier to remove the excess for the fold, I'm just going to cover that up and add that second little corner cut to make this look like it was an intentional design along the inside of the paper. But you and I both know that I am covering up a piece where I ripped that back end sheet. Now I'm going to tear out that last piece of paper because it was had some glue on it. It was a, a little bit messy. And I have another little spot there that I'm not overly happy with where I can see the white. So out comes the cutter and I shall cut just a strip and we will put that into place as what we're going to refer to as our intentional design. And now out comes the ink pad, vintage photo. And I'll go around all of those outside edges on the front and back. Stick with me here. We're getting to the decoration part. And if you like this idea of utilizing these little mini composition notebooks, give me that thumbs up. It does help my channel and I do appreciate it greatly. And there we have it all inked up. and ready to decorate. Just going to kind of continue that uh, little pattern that we created to cover up the error in the inside back by putting a little strip down the front as well. And I think that will just kind of secure that front in place, make sure we don't have any, any loose pieces of paper along those edges. 
got tear out the sheep that got kind of ugly. And now to decorate a piece of coffee stained paper with the word notes. And at the end, I'm going to show you all of the things I put on the front. I utilized different papers to create each of these. And on each one, I put something a little different. But this is the basic process that I went through for each and every notebook. Very simple, very easy, simplistic DIY to get these altered, mini altered composition books looking cute and clever. It was a fast project. It was an easy project. And something that I think makes great ephemera, makes a great you know, it's way past Christmas now. I'm filming this in January, but what a great stocking stuffer this would have been. But why not stick it down inside a little Valentine's treat or an Easter basket or, you know, a birthday gift? I think, I think it makes a great tuck-in-your-purse gift. And there we have the word notes on the coffee dyed paper. We'll glue that into place and pull out one of my favorite things, which are the liquid pearls. I think liquid pearls add a little bit of oomph to just about everything. And I'm pulling out copper. And we'll just stab a little dot on all four corners of those notes and set that aside and let that dry and then it will be ready to utilize. So here is the finished look at that one. I did this one with that blue piece of paper and also used notes and the silver liquid pearls. This gel press print. I chose a stamp, a little dictionary page on this one, and some graph paper with passwords. What a great place to store those passwords we always forget. And just a, a simple finished project, easy to do, inexpensive to do, bust our scraps. So thank you so much <clears throat> for coming along with me on this particular video. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Here is the playlist for all of the altered composition books I've done. I think there's 14 or 15 up there now. I think this will make video number 15, 14, and I have video number 16 ready to go too. So join me in all of those adventures with altering these composition notebooks. Thanks once again. And bye for now.